Joel AI is considered one of the best prospects of his age group and is amongst the top Europeans playing in the NCAA. At 6 foot 5 and 180 pounds, he's a guard who can play both point guard and shooting guard position. He's French Beninese and grew up in Bordeaux, France. His father is 6 foot 7 and a former pro, and his sister played in the WNBA and for the French national team. Ayai attended a highly regarded sports institute, INSA, and was a decorated player at the youth level. He led, the, he led France to bronze medals at both the U18 European Championship in 2018 and the U19 World Cup in 2019. At both tournaments, he was named to the all-tournament team. In 2017, Ayai committed to Gonzaga, but redshirted his first season. He's currently a full-time starter in his junior year and is expected to enter the 2021 NBA Draft. Ayai is a good shooter who has really improved over the last few years. During his first season with Gonzaga, he only shot around 27% from beyond the arc, whereas he currently shoots over 37%. He does most of his damage off the ball on catch and shoots, especially in the corner, as you will see in these next few clips. This will probably be where most of his scoring opportunities in the NBA would come from, so it's a good sign that he can make these at a high rate. He can also shoot off the dribble, although he tends to struggle to create his own shot. Ayai is clearly confident in his own shooting ability and rarely hesitates to take a shot. An area of improvement is his free throw shooting, which has been very inconsistent. Last season he shot 82% from the foul line, whereas this year it's down to 66%. As is the case with his shooting, Ayai plays well off the ball. He knows where to position himself and reads well when to make the cut to the basket. His shooting ability and IQ makes him able to spread the floor well. He often does backdoor cuts from the corner that lead to easy layups, as you can see here. Ayai also makes cuts from other spots, but doesn't seem to have the explosiveness to really slash through the defense, which might be an issue for him at the NBA level. Ayai has good court vision, average to above average handles with both hands, and is able to consistently find the open man. His assist numbers don't stand out with an average of a little over 3 assists per game, however he doesn't operate as Gonzaga's primary ball handler due to share in the backcourt with Jalen Suggs. He likes to give these risky passes, which are great but can backfire, as you can see here. He also turns the ball over a lot by forcing the ball inside. This play shows what he has to change. He holds onto the ball way too long waiting for the play to develop. Yes, he gives a great pass, but this doesn't work in the NBA where there's a shorter shot clock. His driving ability is an area of improvement. Ayai struggles finishing with contact and lacks explosiveness attacking the basket. In Europe, however, he showed good touch around the rim and hit floaters at a high rate. Therefore, he definitely has potential to improve this part of his game. His transition game combines his good playmaking ability and lesser finishing. Ayai runs the floor well on the fast break and is able to give accurate outlet passes for easy scores. In this play, you can see him give an almost half court pass right on the money. And sometimes he even makes flashy plays like these. As discussed earlier, he struggles attacking the rim and finishing with contact. Ayai doesn't get in many pick and roll situations at Gonzaga due to Jalen Suggs being the primary ball handler. However, he has shown promise in his limited pick and roll situations. Ayai is able to use the pick to create space and attack the rim. And thanks to his earlier discussed playmaking ability, he's often able to find a window to pass it a roller for an easy layup or alley oop. Ayai has the athletic ability to be a capable defender at the NBA level. However, his defense is inconsistent at Gonzaga. He has moments where he doesn't seem fully engaged on the defensive end and can improve his footwork and lower body strength. This following clip shows a good example of Ayayi's defense. He's not focused on his man and only looks at the ball, which leaves him out of position. However, he shows his potential by recovering well and contesting the shot. Ayai has moments like these where he's unsure where to position himself on the floor. With improved lower body strength, he should be better at fighting through screens. He does have quick hands and is aggressive in going for steals. 
Ayayi's footwork needs some adjustments. He doesn't move his feet quick enough yet, and his defensive stance is inconsistent, as you can see in this following clip. At times, this leads to him getting beat by players who he should be shutting down with his athletic ability. When Ayayi is facing his man, he rarely ever has active hands to disrupt his opponent. This leads to opponents having space to take a shot, or to drive unnecessarily easily. As discussed earlier, Ayayi struggles fighting through screens, which leads him switching a lot in pick and roll situations. When he becomes stronger and more physical, Ayayi could become a versatile pick and roll defender. One of Ayayi's biggest strengths is his rebounding ability. He's an elite rebounder for his position, and he seems to have a knack for positioning himself for both offensive and defensive boards. His rebounding, in combination with his scoring and playmaking abilities, led to Ayayi having the first triple-double in Gonzaga history. Overall, Ayayi is a talented card who, with the necessary improvements, has a future in the NBA. Offensively, he has a good shot and playmaking ability, but has to improve creating his own shot and finishing with contact. I believe he has the potential to be a good off-ball scorer who can play both the point guard and shooting guard position, and to be a secondary ball handler in the NBA. Most of his improvements have to be made on defense. Ayayi has good athletic ability, quick hands, and is aggressive in going for steals. However, his positioning and footwork have room for improvement. With these adjustments, more consistent active hands, and added strength, he can be a capable defender at the highest level. His combination of scoring, playmaking, and elite rebounding make Ayayi a first round talent. At the moment, he's viewed as a second rounder. With the previously mentioned improvements and a strong performance in March Madness, Ayayi could be too good to pass up for a team at the end of the first round. <laughs>